is up. HomeCon attendees, people of the internet, I am Emma Fife, and I am so excited to be hosting our last panel for Saturday. We have got an incredible lineup of people here from the series The Rookie on ABC that just wrapped up its second season. We have got creator and executive producer Alexi Holly. We have also got, of course, Nathan Fillion, Eric Winter, Ooh. Melissa O'Neill, Titus Bacon Jr., Richard T. Jones, Makia Cox, and Alyssa Diaz. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> We have got people in the chat. They are spamming our rookie emote. I want to see everybody who is chatting spam that emote. We've got hype going on. Uh, and also, for the record, everybody watching at home, basically everybody here has got the uh, Twitch chat up on their own individual devices. So we see mm -hmm. you, and we are so excited to have you all join us at home. And, of course, everybody uh, from the cast and creative team uh, here as well. So first of all, just a general general check-in. How How is everyone doing? Uh, it's been a few weeks now that we've all been uh, sheltering in place. So I would like to know from you guys, I think, before we get into talking a little about the show, have y'all managed to stay creative and have some personal projects that you've worked on during this time? Uh, Nathan, you're raising your hand. So I, 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 knew Nathan, I knew Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa always has the best answer. Go. Know, Alyssa. Alyssa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a lot so i've been writing and cleaning and um not cooking but uh i take out oh okay <laughs> Alyssa, you haven't uh you haven't become one of those people that's making their own sourdough bread that's a no. craze that's running rampant <laughs> no i actually had a friend that made some and she like cut the tip of her finger off so i was oh, really oh. <laughs> that's, yeah <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you know, the joke there's somewhere with finger yeah. sandwiches. Yeah. Stop, stop. Finger sandwiches. Yeah. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh let's see. Uh Melissa, what about you? What have you what have you been doing to keep yourself occupied? Oh, dude, I'm such a nerd for like mindfulness practices. I'm diving deep into like Ram Das podcasts. I'm like doing qigong like way too many hours out of the day, and I'm drinking a ton of tea. So I'm basically avoiding everyone in all contact with the exception of this, but it's great. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And, uh, and, and Titus, I've heard that you are quite the TikTok star. King. <laughs> I'm the TikTok king. Tell him, Titus. Say, I'm the if king the of TikTok. Fits, you better wear it. No, honestly, it's one of those things that's like, I hated TikTok. I'm gonna be super real. And then I was sitting here in my house, single AF. And I was like, you know what? TikTok, and I got in this little hole, and I was like, "Oh, I can do that!" And then literally just kind of kept spawning, and now I'm like into it heavily, heavily, yeah. heavily. You're a king, yeah, dude. You're the king. <laughs> All right. Well, and and Richard, since you were the one that uh, alerted me uh -oh. to the fact that Titus was, you know, such a king when it came Richard! to TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, what are, what are, what have you been up to? What are you doing, man? Uh, you know something? I'm not doing much. I'm kind of kicking around the house with my with my kids and my family. And um, I'm the guy who walks around the. I'm like the old man. I just walk around with the with the other old people. We walk around the lake <laughs> like every day. That's what, my biggest thrill is to go to the supermarket. So that's what I've been doing. Listen, go, going to the supermarket is uh, is quite the undertaking right now. So that, you know. That is a that, that's, that's a my vacation. vacation. My vacation is in the supermarket right now. Are you going to the supermarket by yourself? Is that you're leaving the family behind, or is that like of a course, of course? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's by myself. Otherwise, <laughs> I go crazy. <laughs> and uh, you know, Eric, you've got you've got quite the setup uh, going on there. You've got that nice palm tree reflected in your right. window. It looks like you're just chilling in paradise. <laughs> well, let me prune the palm tree. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um i've uh yeah you know my job has been full-time homeschool teacher i have never <laughs> had more respect for teaching i mean i've always had respect for teaching but never more so than now it is incredible what our teachers do and i have taken on that job of being homeschool teacher i got nice. two and a half weeks left and then we're on summer break All right but a lot of parent teacher conferences and a lot of uh, <laughs> the principal's office and it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. So you, so you then I'm assuming because so many schools have moved over to virtual learning, were you already a zoom expert before showing up to this zoom call for this convention? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, my, my kid's on like seven Zooms a week. <laughs> like it's, it's <laughs> teachers, wow. it's, yeah, it's a whole thing. I mean, I got to relearn all math all over again, the way they teach it now. It's not how we all grew up learning math. It's, yeah. it's a, it's a Can terrible Can I take on my fingers? I want to. <laughs> that's how I learned. My kid's learning that again, but that's not how they're taught. <laughs> and now, Alexi, are you managing to uh, get some writing done? What's what's happening with you besides spending time in your, your gorgeous Scandinavian outdoor office? <laughs> <laughs> I go back and forth between being productive and not getting out of bed in the morning. Uh, I think as we all entered... Uh, quarantine there were two camps out there one is where the people who said like you know Galileo discovered gravity during a quarantine and then the other people were like screw that you know the fact that you put your pants on in the right direction is a victory for the day you don't put so much pressure on yourself to to be productive and I think we have to live giving ourselves a lot of uh, a lot of a break um, in terms of being productive but also I feel very privileged um, to be able to be safe at home and, and going to the grocery store and cooking uh, and doing all that stuff and not having to go out in the world because a lot of people aren't in that situation. So I Absolutely. hope. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Makia, have you gotten on board with any of the uh, cooking crazes or crafting, redesigning your home? <laughs> um, I have not, but, but my uh, one year old daughter has. Oh. <laughs> yes. I <laughs> I sent a video to um, the cast. They all know what I'm discussing. But um, <laughs> no, I I mean, I really have not been doing all that much besides taking care of my one-year-old, um, which has been wonderful. Um, it's also always a lot, but amazingly a lot. Um, yeah. But yeah, we did, um, we did make a video of her cooking. That's adorable. Because she's a chef, <laughs> apparently. Oh, um, yeah. Besides that, I'm just trying to stay sane, I think, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, stay, staying sane is a full-time job unto itself. Yes. Uh, Nathan, we didn't get an answer for you, and we're also having a lot of people in the chat who are asking uh, about the portrait that uh, is looming <laughs> over your shoulder there. <laughs> this one? Yes, that one. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> um, I am spending a lot of time at home uh, this is actually a <laughs> French uh, ancestor of mine, royalty, of course. Uh, in, yes. in 1812, uh, he invented shelves. Oh. Um, <laughs> Very useful invention. Yeah. Is, um, you. you know what? I'm a homebody. I really don't mind being at home. It's a little yeah. weird being at home under these circumstances. I just try to, uh, I mean, so much right now going on is beyond our control. I just try to... Uh, have fun with the things that I can control and be um, in the moment and spend a lot of time avoiding all the jobs I could possibly be doing around the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's amazing uh, how easy it is to come up with excuses to not do all the chores you don't normally have time to do when you're not at home all the time. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, let's see. In the chat, there was a really great question. I want to I want to talk about the season two finale for sure. But uh, this is a really good question in the chat. This is from Zor underscore Earp. Uh, they ask if you could have a character from any other cop show, I think, join your squad on the rookie. Who would you choose? Anybody? Columbo. What, Nate? Columbo. Columbo. That's a good that is a great. Have, that is an excellent choice. <laughs> I have one. OK, what you got, Titus? Angela Bassett, nine one one. Bring her now. Oh snap! Oh, she's snap. such a beast. <laughs> That's a good one. She is. I yeah. Alexi, do you have any thoughts as the uh, writer of the show on who might uh, who this uh, this uh, cast of characters on, uh, benefit from? Uh, McNulty from The Wire. Oh yes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, cool. we're getting deep. We're getting yeah. deep. <laughs> deep. Deep cuts. <laughs> All right. Um, I would say uh, <laughs> I'll say Chris Tucker from Rush Hour. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, th I think Chris Tucker would add some like brevity <clears throat> that we sometimes need on this. That's show. right. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Totally not out of place or anything. <laughs> uh, Melissa, do you have any thoughts? No, I'm drawing blanks. It's I'm okay. Like, I know the characters' faces and names, but I have no, I, no, I don't know their names. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I deferred to Makia or Eric. I got nothing. Right. 
I would just bring the whole cast of Police Academy. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna say. <laughs> Beat me to it. There is a there is some mind melding happening amongst the cast of the rookie here. So again, you guys, your your season two finale just aired May tenth. So only what six days ago. Uh, and uh, it it was intense to to say the least. Definitely ended on a a bit of a uh, cliffhanger note there. Uh, Nolan, I gotta say, it looks like you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's like oh my god, this is the worst case scenario. Yeah. Oh my god, this is even worse. Oh my god, the cops are outside. <laughs> right. Yeah. I was thinking keeps... the entire time, Nathan, while you were tearing it apart, trying, while Nolan was tearing the house apart, I kept thinking, and I tweeted it too, but I was like, he just put that place together. Right? Like he just finished renovating it. And watching you tear it apart was just like heartbreaking. That was I something that, that, that was like, something like, Alexi yeah. crafted so that, so that we witnessed the house and the work and we're, right. and, we're, and we're present for the work and the touches mm -hmm. and the finishing and the bit. And it just becomes this thing and you go, wow. Nice work, man. And then he's got it. It's smashed to pieces. It's yeah. so. Wait, yeah. was that actually designed at the beginning, Alexi? Yeah, yeah. Like that? The house had an art wow. for the whole season. So yeah. Yeah. wow. The story doesn't happen by accident to Alexi. Oh yeah, I was. I was going to say. Although, fun fact: the morning that we were shooting that scene, originally Nathan was supposed to use a crowbar to open up the walls, and the bat that he used, the Hollywood bat, is actually mm -hmm. from the pilot. It's the bat. And it's, it lives in my office. And it was oh. the bat that Unicorn Man was swinging around. Oh, the yeah. Car. And I'm how like, cool is that? How cool That's is that? So and he cool. used that as if he, he, you know, got it for the scene or bought one for himself or whatever. But but I, I went to Nathan on set and he's like, I love that kind of stuff. And yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, that's the bat that, uh, from the yeah, pilot. it becomes yeah. a relic of, of the of the history of the show. It yeah. becomes a oh, I love that. The last mm. time we used a crowbar in the show, I think, was with um, Winter when he was in season one. He was breaking into the ATM, and when he did that, he's shaking his head because I'm going to tell everyone. And he did it with such <laughs> gusto. He ripped his pants. <laughs> <laughs> the first day back to work on the pilot. Are we talking after the pilot. a little rip, or are we talking front to back? No, yeah, the whole steam straight down the thigh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Way to stop everything. Nathan, can I tell them about Hollywood Boulevard? Uh-oh. I <laughs> want to know. <laughs> Which part about Hollywood Boulevard? Well, your pants, because they're wool pants. I mean, we use the real wool pants, which aren't stretchy and have no give. And in the pilot, Nathan's running down Hollywood Boulevard, and his pants split at the, I think it was the inner thigh, and Nathan sewed them up himself with all of us standing around him because there was 2,500 people standing around. He sewed it yourself? He sewed his own he hands sewed up. them up? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Because otherwise, I mean, other people standing around, otherwise it's like a bunch of people in my crotch doing this. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, that would have been, yeah, that would have been. Uh, those those was, I was the only one who looked inappropriate. <laughs> Uh, any other uh, incidences involving pants uh, from the yes. set of movie that we should know? <laughs> yeah, I think we, I think all, we ripped all ripped them. those pants. I think yeah, we all, we all ripped them. Them. I went through three pairs with Makia. It would rip in the same place because I would lunge every time she threw me. And every lunge, it was like, in the same yeah. spot. It was yeah. awful. Yeah. Those, those season one pants, I, one word, unforgiving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not a lot of give in those uh in those no. ones but it's hard for them they don't that you know the wool pants the actual police uniform pants look very specific and so i think in season two we were like screw it and went away from that <laughs> <laughs> can't do this yeah it was terrible yeah, oh dang <laughs> All right, in the Twitch chat, we have got a hype train incoming. We are already 94% of the way to level one. So gift subs, use those emotes, use bits, uh, and let's get this hype train all the way up to level five. Uh, I want to see what a hype train looks like. I'm trying uh, to hype train, yeah, there's a purple bar at the top of the chat. Okay. And it says hype train. So if oh, you- I see uh, it. Hype, 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 hype. Hype, hype, okay. hype, hype. That's right. Yeah, people are, okay. people are getting in there. You got it. You got a gift sub. Subscribe. Oh, okay. Use there bits. If you're if you're watching, there we right go. Now, there we you, go. I see some yeah. hype. Yeah. Hype, 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 hype. 
If you're watching right now and you're not already subscribed uh, to HomeCon Official on Twitch, you can do so right now. That'll help us boost that hype train uh, up to the next level. Uh, you can also gift subs to other people in the chat. And uh, if you do sub, then you'll be able to chat because right now the, the chat is in subs only. Uh, and it will improve your home con experience overall. You will get everything ad free. So if you want to drop us a sub, come on in there. It'd be awesome. Hey, I there we go. How's everybody How are we, How are we doing musical this chairs? This is actually from the future. This is from the future. Also, how are we doing musical chairs? Everybody's like popping different boxes all of a sudden. Yep. Moving. Yep. That's a technical difficulty on your end, Richard. We're good. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no but what I was uh, uh, going to say is that also, uh, if you guys are not aware, uh, all of the, uh, the majority of the uh, cast and crew here, shall I say, is doing one-on-one -on -one calls this weekend. They are still available. There should be a link down below for you to sign up for one-on-one -on -one calls. And, uh, and Nathan, who's happily displaying what the chat is looking like right now, uh, I hear that you are making some surprise appearances in people's one-on-one -on -one calls. Is that correct? It may be true that I have uh, interrupted a, a number of one-on-one -on -one chats. It became a one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one chat. A one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Also known as like a, a, a two-on-one -on or a three, a three, a three -on -one <laughs> chat. <laughs> Good Richard. <laughs> what? It was three people. It's three people, three, three people. Uh, so, so getting back to talking about the show a little bit, uh, Titus, you you really went through some emotional turmoil towards the end there. I mean, you lost your buddy. Where where's your head at right now, man? Broken. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, that that's one of those things that I mean, I love doing as an actor. Like, I love diving into like some some heavy emotional stuff. So, honestly, that was awkwardly kind of fun for me, but at the same time, as far as the character goes, um, man, I, I think Jackson's had a nice, a nice arc. We've gotten to see him yeah. in a lot of different lights, which I think is really cool. And I'm excited to see where that would go. Um, but as of right now, he's just on the mend. You know what I mean? Um, there's death, you know, that's never easy to cope with. And Lucy, I know is there consoling him and uh, getting him back to yeah. good standings. Yeah, I was gonna say the the uh, I love the roommate dynamic between Lucy and Jackson, and just how much they really clearly trust each other and have this really great sort of supportive vibe. Uh, Melissa, you want to talk a little about uh, Lucy and her her sort of love affair that she may or may not be involved in right now, and where that's going? <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a little bit outside of everything that's happening with us. There's the, the part of me that's like coming out at first. I remember when we met Jeff and Eric, I think Eric and I were there together and we were both like, this guy is wicked and he is going to get his own show and we're going to lose him. Like, yeah. there's no <laughs> way this guy is going to stay available to do anything in the long term because he's just like too talented and way too down to earth and like a good person. Like somebody's going to want to work with him full time. And, and he's sure enough, gorgeous. He's yeah. a great looking yeah, and dude. And also gorgeous, <laughs> yes. Um, yes, I can't forget that part, but, uh, and sure enough that that happened. So, <laughs> um, it's great. It's great that he's busy, but, um, I think it's, I think it's wonderful. And I hope that despite what happened with Lucy at, uh, our, our mid season finale, it's, I think it's great that between her relationships with the women on the show, as well as um, her feeling bolstered by her T.O., that she's still taking chances and being that person that's brave, even in the face of something that could have, could be very triggering. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important for women to see, too, to, to give those things a chance. Yeah. Yes, Nathan, you're raising your hand. What would you <laughs> yeah, like to question. add? Is, is Alyssa having an internet interruption, or is she just sitting really, really, really still? is a professional uh <laughs> that's what's happening here yeah, that's right. Alyssa, but Alyssa, what i, I did want to say though is that you know lopez she got a chance to be acting detective in the end of this season did it feel good to like come to that part of her character arc or yeah because i think from the beginning that's been her goal you know yeah and, um to kind of take that on and, and build that relationship also with with gray this season was really nice yeah for the different layers so yeah it's exciting it yes awesome. and this i mean this or whatever yes. uh, her, 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 her wedding. Wedding. Right. 
Am I real one too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you wear a stunt ring for the show? In a real, yeah. real life? No, they just happen to look like um, similar, very similar. <laughs> oh, my wow. stunt ring like ended up looking like the same ring. Like so, you have a ring. stunt ring. You really have a. I do. Stunt double for your ring. <laughs> yeah. The stunt double. Yeah, uh, and. Eric, we we got to see a little bit of a a, a nice softer side of uh, of Tim towards the end of the uh, finale there, where he was gonna cut things off with his girlfriend, but then he cut. What what do you think made him change his mind? I think you know a number of things. I think he, there's a lot of growth in where he's allowing himself to be at this point in his in his life, and yeah. you know I think he does. He cares a lot about Rachel, and he's willing to step out of his comfort zone a little bit and, and give it a fair shake. You know, I, I'm sure, you know, as he stated many times, even to lose, he has his doubts about long distance, but he's willing to give it, you know, give it a fair shake. Yeah. I mean, absolutely. I do think that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Alexi. Uh, I mean, you, you truly are the brains of this it. character. Yeah. So yeah. you know it all. <laughs> yeah. We're yeah. Making yeah. Stuff all up these like, questions we're didn't come to you. Right. <laughs> no, but, but I think that in, in, in a similar way, even though they had a different experience uh, as Lucy, I mean, um, Tim Bradford was in a marriage to a to a, a drug addict, and he right. was, you know, I mean, which which is a very, I mean, being connected to somebody who's an addict who you love is very traumatic, and and you know that he spent years going through that, and I think, in a similar way to Lucy's experience with with Caleb, even though they're very different things, both suffered romantic trauma. I mean, not that Caleb was romantic, but you know what I mean. Right. Um, <laughs> And therefore, it's a thing, right, for, for, for Tim to invest and actually be open in a relationship after what's happened to him is, is a big deal for him. And I think he's still, you know, tentative there in the same way that I think Lucy is t tentative with Emmett and, you know, and, and would be in the future as well, just because you've been through a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And then the big question is uh, over under Makia on Harper getting custody of her kid. <laughs> It's yeah. a big question. Well, you, I mean, she got she got shared custody in the in, right. the, in the second to last episode, which right. is what, she's not looking for full custody because it's just you know, I mean, she's still she has great respect for her ex husband, and yeah. so I think this is the best possible <laughs> yeah. scenario for her. But then you know, going forward, like, what's it like to be a single mom on the sure. job? Sure, you know, and how do you make that work and all that kind of stuff? So yeah, yeah, I think that's definitely going to inform her journey going forward. Totally. Yeah. yeah. And uh, me being a mom now myself, I see how, um, you know, it's interesting that I got this character as I've become a mom because it has informed uh, what I do as the actress. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know when I read that um, in that second to last episode, I felt the relief, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I felt what she would feel. And um, it was a really happy moment for me and a fun moment for my character. Yeah. So, but I'm curious to see like where that goes going forward. Definitely. Well, Wait, and then I have the a question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, question is for um, Alexi. Because what can't fall by the wayside is how dope Makia's alter ego character is. So now that she doesn't <laughs> no. need to do that, is she gonna is she gonna like be able to embrace a new new personality and stuff? That'd be dope. I well, love those actors. Chris, Chris was not her only undercover person role. Hey, so we're gonna have to meet uh, some other undercover roles in the future. Yeah. Crystal, <laughs> Crystal for the win. I want a Crystal T-shirt. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. And yeah. Listen, I don't, I don't want to leave uh, uh, Richard out of this. The big question is because obviously, because <laughs> yeah, because no, because you were in a place. Okay. So when Nolan originally lost the gun and everything started to become conflated with, okay, you know, there's, there's a crooked cop on the inside somewhere. What you, you were, you were like maybe ready to lay the smack down there. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think, uh, Gray knows that, um, uh, <clears throat> that Nathan's character is better than that. So it kind of, yeah. it kind of threw him like, are you kidding me? Of all right. the things. I do not expect this from you. I, I have now raised him up to a person that I really trust in when it comes to the people that I'm, I'm assigned over. And I tell you, that kind of took me back to the reality that, ah, man, 
you're a rookie. You know, yeah. it was one of those moments where Gray really had to get back and say, Nolan, uh, just don't talk to me right now because I, I put you kind of on a pedestal and you kind of broke my heart in that moment. You yeah. know, so uh, it was a it was an interesting moment. I love the fact that Alexi wrote that. It'll yeah. be interesting to see, too, now uh, Gray's reaction when what's happening to oh, when he gets pulled currently in. comes yeah. to light. <laughs> Yes, it will be interesting. Remains <laughs> remains to be seen. Only yeah. only Alexi uh, sitting right. there on his throne of secrets in his <laughs> in paradise. <laughs> there you go, my throne of secrets. I've got another uh, chat question. Are you messing with your here. hair, Titus? Don't do that. <laughs> Mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> Melissa is raising her hand. Yeah, Melissa, what's Melissa up? Has a question. Uh, yes, my name is Melissa O'Neill. I'm originally from Canada. I have a question for the uh, showrunner, Alexia Holly. <laughs> okay. So this sounds important. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering if you could, uh, you know, let some of the fans of the show know what's going to happen with the TOs and the rookies after they've completed their training process. Um, you know, I, no spoilers, of course. I'm really hoping for season three, but um, just any, any. No, any but spoilers. <laughs> mean, no spoilers that's, that's what it is um well it's interesting because probably well before the quarantine it's a bit of a different answer honestly yeah. uh we don't know what production is going to look like we don't know when we're going to get to start shooting again so therefore you know originally in my head the lab, that 30 day push, that last 30 days was going to be the first four or five episodes, probably. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, I mean, you know, the show is going to transition a little bit and, and you know, um, rookies will become P2s and, you know, potentially a new rookie or, or a few will come in and, and we'll have to deal with those dynamics. But honestly, now that we don't know what the sh how the show is going to produce, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't feel comfortable right now doing a roll call scene with 30 people sitting in that room with the doors closed and that low ceiling. Oh, you know, yeah. Safe, right? So if we can't tell the story in, in the best possible way, then maybe we're going to slow roll those last 30 days yeah. to a longer, to the first 10 episodes or something. Like, I'm not sure yet, but um, I think we have to tell the best possible stories. And if that means that we slow roll a little bit longer, then we're going to do that. But Everything's so up in the air right now that we'll just have to see. Yeah, yeah. Production coming back is, as you say, it's in it's in such a state of uh, right. yeah. <laughs> that yeah. adjustments uh, may have to be made. But uh, uh, on a positive note, a, a mm -hmm. good chat question coming in here: uh, If you could be any other character on the rookie, like if you could swap roles with someone for a day, or I guess Alexi, if you could play one of the characters on the rookie. Uh. Uh, would, okay. Who would you want to be for the day, and why? Shall we say? Uh, I, let's let's start with uh, with professional still life model uh, Alyssa. Do you have any thoughts? Alive. Um. Who would I switch out with? Uh. You know what? I think I would switch out with Mikia. Uh, oh. you know, I, like, I like those crystal scenes, like the chance <laughs> to really flip and do something completely different. It was really cool. And, and she just brought, her character just brought such a strong energy to the show, such a unique energy. Mm -hmm. Another layers, like being able to be a mom and, you know, uh, an officer, just there's a lot of um, dynamic there. So, yeah, awesome. Uh, what about you, Eric? Who do I want to see? <laughs> I love that. That was terrifying. Uh, he's like my yeah, it was like slow motion. <laughs> I like how did he do it in slow motion? I would probably want to go the op. I I would like uh, a shot at playing Nolan. I think the Nolan con I think everything that he goes through finding his footing and growing in a profession that's completely <laughs> another world, something like he's never been a part of, watching that growth in a human has been, has been pretty fun. So I, I like that that opportunity of him not knowing everything and having to learn so much. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. uh, well, let's hop on over to Nolan then and ask Nathan, what would your answer be? Who would you want to? Who, who's who, Here's who you don't want to be. You don't want to okay. be uh, Jackson West because he has to expunge all this incredible. <laughs> oh, here's the here's the legal answer to the uh, it's, 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 it's one feet. He's got to know all that stuff all the time. Yeah. It's like you don't want to be in that. And then you, you also you don't want to be Lucy. Because she does the same thing, but with like you know, you know thoughts. Of yeah, right. She's the stuff. same, but different. Yeah. 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 All the science. And you, she's got so much jargon. He's like, nope. Like playing the doctor. <laughs> uh, I would say either I would be Bradford because he just, all I got to do is bark. You bark, bark, bark. <laughs> <laughs> you did it wrong. Get out of here, rookie. You did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> or I would. I would be uh, Sergeant Gray. Because you come in and you go, all right, this guy's gonna go. Get out of here. And then you go home. <laughs> and then you go home. <laughs> and then you go home. I think he's I love you, Alexi. Are you a boy? <laughs> <laughs> um, <is he>, like... <laughs> mm -hmm. I actually was gonna take Gray simply because of his schedule. <laughs> 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 Very early on, Richard told me that he had no need to be outside the station. <laughs> and I immediately put him in a patrol car. Um, immediately. Like the immediately. next episode. Because, and that's yeah. one of my favorite things to do is whenever Richard says uh, something, I do the opposite. So <laughs> if he. If he He's you know, not joking. He's not, I'm not joking. <laughs> at all. At all. At point, Richard looking at his call sheet. At some point, like, you'll learn to stop like asking me for something because yeah. you're like, do I have to be in the scene? I don't have a line. I'm like, do you want a line? <laughs> yeah, he, he actually, wow. Yeah. I, now I'm starting to realize that's exactly true. Yeah, it is you're, good you're one. Yeah. called out here. Well, Richard, you seem yes. to be living large as Gray. Is there anybody else that you'd possibly want to be? <laughs> hmm. It's actually, between, it's actually between Bradford and Lopez. I probably because I love both of their characters. I think their characters are like they have so many dimensions. You know, Eric is like this hard but soft guy because he yeah. has a little sweet spot for Lucy. Yeah, but you need to touch every once in a while. Exactly, he just like oh, just every once in a while. But then he gets yeah. to yell at her the whole time. It is hilarious. Just enough for ladies to go. Oh, he really uh, exactly. <laughs> he really <laughs> likes her. Yeah, and then there's and then there's Lopez where she's just like, I'm right. I'm always right. Follow me. <laughs> it's, it's what I do. Follow me because I'm right. Mm. You're wrong. I'm right. <laughs> like I'm I'm super cop. You're not. And I love the way she does that. Yeah, so even fearless. though Titus is like, hey, what about this? He's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm right. Well, and I love that about her character. Melissa, who would you say? Um, yeah, at first I started off with Makia, but after listening to everyone speak on everybody else's characters, like, I'm just vibing it all. We should do, like, crazy weird character swap where our souls just kind of, like, I'm yeah. sorry. That's a great yeah. episode, Alexi. <laughs> that's, that's a great episode. That's a good episode, Alexi. We all swap. <laughs> The, the soul swap. The soul swap episode. Yes, on our grounded cop show. Yes. <laughs> on your very real and grounded cop show. Yeah, let's just I'm do a so weird sorry. dream sequence soul swap episode. Uh, Titus, what about you? Oh, hands down for me. Not even Harper, but just Crystal alone. Just, <laughs> just Crystal <laughs> by herself. But I would like change. Obviously, I'm a guy, so we name him something like. I don't know, Alexi Pookie. How we feeling? <laughs> oh, man. New Jack City Pookie. You just New Jack City Pookie. Pookie. Just that. Just the all of the ratchicity. One moment. The ratchicity. <laughs> now, Alexi, I know for you, it's like asking you to like choose a favorite child. But do you have a, a strong inclination towards which? It's one? me. Which As guy? All like it. Okay, Nathan's answering <laughs> for no, you. No. Um, <laughs> Who's job is secure? Uh, you know, the, it's true. I love writing for everybody. I mean, yeah. you know, not to get serious, but, you know, it's such a joy um, to write for every single one of these actors because they all bring such depth. And, and um, you know, there's a term in baseball, five tool player, you know, somebody who can do everything and every single I mean, I'm blessed. The entire cast can just, you know, mm -hmm. it's not easy that we, we have such a tonal range on our show from funny to tragic to everything in between and to know with certainty that no matter what I put in that script, they're going to knock it out of the park. It's just really profound. Um, that said, Lucy Chapman. 
<laughs> uh, Melissa. Somebody screenshot my face. <laughs> I love Lucy Chen. Come on. Yes. <laughs> What's not to love about Lucy? Well, I mean, you guys have such a have such a strong ensemble cast, and you have such a great dynamic. I imagine being on set is a lot of fun. I mean, hard work, obviously. But uh, another chat question that somebody asked was, "What do you miss most about being on set and and shooting the show?" The crew. Uh, let's, yes. yeah. yeah, the crew. And, yeah, yeah, all the crew. Mm, Especially yeah. when we're all together, it's it's actually amazing. And so I miss the yeah. days when we have to do those all together scenes. It's amazing. Yeah, but they fun. stopped writing yeah. more. Yeah. Like they 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 <laughs> minimized how many of those they would write because it takes forever to shoot them. Because when we all get together, we are it's a it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a problem. Yeah, no one. <laughs> it's a problem. I was gonna say no one could tell from this panel uh, that y'all <laughs> panel. <laughs> 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 no, I actually, no, I actually, before we went live, I was hearing a little bit uh, about a secret Santa that happened oh. uh, mm. amongst the cast. Uh, Titus, I hear your your secret Santa gift was was close by. You want to enlighten us a little bit about uh, how this all went down? Oh yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> and we lost him. You got him right here. Oh, I'm gonna knock the camera over. This is okay. it. Look how cool <laughs> this is. It's like a, a speaker. Um, wasn't that speaker boom did a, we did a white elephant though, so people white were like elephant. stealing each other's yeah, presents. That was, was, was going to be my next gamble. question. Was, yeah. was it a white elephant or a traditional secret Santa? Um, so what did what did everybody, I guess, bring to the white elephant swap? Uh, Titus, you showed off what you received. What did you, what did you contribute? Y'all, I kept it 100% gangster and I put money in a card because who doesn't <laughs> That's exactly what he did. And, uh, he brought some money. A coffee mug. This, it was and fun. Oh, to have like an ugly actually. coffee mug, but that was just like so I could have something to wrap up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't know the money was in there, so we thought he was just giving an ugly coffee mug. <laughs> oh my god, that is yep. amazing, uh, Makia. What did you contribute? Um, I contributed the winning gift. I would like to say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> which was a uh, massager. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Richard, <laughs> Richard, get it. Richard's, Richard's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. That's a fact. I'll yes. put that right there. <laughs> <Either one. laughs> yes, this right here. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Richard, you you ended up with uh, with the gift supreme. What did you bring? I brought Titus's gift. So I got the speaker gift. Oh, so okay. Okay. You brought, you that, brought was that was my gift. That was my gift. Nice. He actually nice. won the, he, he actually won the supreme gift, but I took it from him. Yeah. <laughs> Because I was left with my own gift, so I had to switch. Who? I said, "Look, man, I got get, I got you. Got to take this gift." <laughs> who yep. gave? Who gave the one that I originally wanted? The one that you took. Me. Um. Oh, was it, it was Makia. Makia. Yeah, yeah. It was Makia. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was Makia. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Melissa, what did you bring to the gift exchange? I brought a Kindle and I took a Kindle home. <laughs> I ended up with gift and I. Was very happy about it. <laughs> you took your own gift. That's about right. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's great. Uh, Alyssa, what about you? I brought uh, what, a, <laughs> a little photo printer. Oh, a photo yeah. printer right. for your phone. I got mm. it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, good. That was a good one. I won $22 off a lot of tickets. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah. $22. <laughs> yeah. You can, you know, get, have a an, an okay meal and a drink <laughs> or something. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, what did you contribute? I think that was, Eric, I think that, was that the one I, yeah, that was the, it's like a sand sculpture. It's a frame that you turn over and sand falls in formations and it's very, it's very meditative and relaxing. They're nice. Very relaxing. <laughs> uh, very relaxing. So Eric, and that's in, that oh, okay. That's what you, uh, that's what you received. What did you bring? I brought an Instapot that Makia took and then basically <laughs> ran away with it and told nobody they could have it. So we couldn't, we couldn't take she it. Played she played the new crying. mom card. She got emotional. <laughs> yeah, yeah. she mom really mom did. Mom she like Why put her. Like, I'm a mom. I'm <laughs> For a second, it got intense. You're gonna do it. <laughs> and Alexi, uh, did you participate in this swap or no? I was not invited. So what did oh everybody bring you then as a gift? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> who brought the lotto tickets? I'm trying to remember who brought the lotto tickets. Was Harold. Oh, Harold. Harold. Harold brought Harold. 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 Harold brought Harold. the lotto tickets. And what did he go home with? Hi, My money. He go home. Hi, he went home with, with the card. He, he went home with the money. That's right. <laughs> the money, the card, and the mug. The That's money right. and the mug. Hey, listen. The, it, the the mug was a secret good prize. It was there was yeah. there was a secret money hiding inside of it. So you know, honestly, who doesn't like to discover a a, a surprise gift within a gift? Right. Um, There's someone behind you, Eric. There's someone behind you. <laughs> <laughs> my family's starting to come outside. I'm gonna have to move locations and lose my. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, so obviously, you know, we were talking a little bit about how this show covers so much tonally from comedy to really intense drama and tragedy uh, the end of season two definitely was leaning pretty hard on the on the the drama side of comedy drama what do y'all do to like decompress and and sort of like remove yourselves from the trauma that's being experienced by your characters i think titus we'll start with you because obviously you know you you had such a such a journey at the end of season two. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, it's one of those things for me. I mean, say what you will, depending on your techniques, you want to go, you know, yes, super an accurate and like, you know, what you've been trained at. <laughs> but for me, it's it's something that I quite easily just just shed. It's, it's that moment. I'll live in it for that time being yeah. while, we're, while we're filming. But as soon as they say you're rapping going home, I'm taking off that stuff so quick that I drop it. You know what I mean? And then yes. you kind of relive it when you see it and you're like, oh man, that's like really sad. But for, yeah, for me, I I just don't let it stick. It's something I substitute in that moment and kind of just let go. Yeah. Nathan, I, you are I have a follow-up follow question for Titus. Titus, though, when you're doing your emotional stuff, because you'd get a lot of really great emotional scenes. Yeah. Do you go home just a little exhausted? <laughs> oh, like, yeah. That's, no, honestly, that is true. That's the part that's like, yeah. Because when you're doing that for, Freaking! I don't know how many takes and all different angles. It'll wear you out, and you definitely get a good night's sleep at the end of the night. Um, yeah, that's one thing that's true. It'll wear you out. It's, it's tiresome. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Well, and Eric, you're somebody too that you know. Bradford's got like a lot of responsibility for these rookies. Do you and some wine? And you got a lot drink of some wine. wine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness! I'm like, my invite me over, Eric. Invite me over. Is that allowed? My yeah, <laughs> my goodness. I'll have what he's having. I think Eric's <laughs> blushing. I think he's blushing. <laughs> why have what? we never been to your house? I'm telling you, I, I can see why it. now. We got palm trees and wine and my goodness. Eric is literally showing us right now what he does to, to decompress. And <laughs> 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 What was the question? Oh, I was asking what you did to like decompress after an emotional day, uh, you know, when you're really leaning hard into the drama on the show. But I think we see what you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice glass of wine. No, you know, it's great. I come home and I get reminded uh, right away that uh, I'm dad and I just get smacked around by my kids and <laughs> I wake right up and get back into my reality at home. Yeah, it's a good way to, uh, to instantly take yourself out of it. Um, Alyssa, what about you? I mean, again, things were things are kind of looking up for Lopez right now, so. <laughs> Do you ever have moments though where like you you have to do something to kind of like transition yourself out of being really deep in like the more emotional and traumatic side of the the things that you experience on the show? Yeah. I just I just dance my blues away. <laughs> <laughs> I like That's it. Real. Like, but she's so serious. That's what they yeah. <laughs> turn, so turn the music on and let it go. Yeah. She Next time it. we're gonna do a dance panel so we can see that like fun and loose side of uh Alyssa just get getting down and, and uh oh dancing the goodness. blues away. <laughs> you, you're about to excite all of us. Yeah, Richard, what about you? I mean, you you uh you seem to have a lot to say about everybody else's um... <laughs> <laughs> No, I look, like, I'm just noticing things. Um what the what very do observant. I do to, uh, what do I do that everybody else doesn't do? Um, I don't know. I listen to some music. I, t I take a long time to get home. So I, 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 I when ah. I leave the, when I leave work, I take my sweet time getting home. So I might make a stop and get a drink, or I might just continue to go past my house. I might do a lot of things and listen to music for a while. And then I come back and then my kids are a little bit older. So when I get in, I get problems. 
this home. is what. So I, <laughs> so I need, to, I need to decompress before I get home. I got you. I got you. I got you. to That's... deal with, uh, you know. These, right. these young teenager problems that I'm just right like, your time oh, in the goodness. car or right now your solo trips to the grocery store it's really your... there you go <laughs> there your, you go that's your solace right there <laughs> pivoting it a little bit uh melissa did you find that there was anything recently in your memory that with lucy that you had to tap into emotionally that like you were struggling to find as an actor or has most of her or do you feel that she's sort of adjacent to yourself and you're able to you know find that character pretty easily she feels pretty accessible although i will say i think since being lucy for many hours out of the day i can feel like she's kind of seeped into me like i feel like i'm being more like her Ooh, um, got it been weird but I guess the only thing that I was that I had a little bit of oh I wonder if that'll come across truthfully was when she was getting pulled out of the barrel and I really had no idea what I was going to do I was like this has to just be totally in the moment and it was yeah. cool that it I remember while it was happening it ended up being like a lot more emotional and I had this physiological response and I was like cool I'm being present okay don't think about being present just write it out and um, yeah, I think that's the neat exercise about acting. It's like, if you're just present, you can really surprise yourself yeah. with what happens in those moments of imagination. Yeah. yeah. Makia, what would you say that, what would you say about Harper is like most adjacent and similar to you, who you are versus what's most dissimilar <laughs> from you? I think that we look alike. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. <laughs> this character is probably the furthest character that I've played from me. Right. Um, but I love her. You know, she is, as they say, a badass. And I wish she I definitely were is. Not. <laughs> I'm far from that. Oh. Um, <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what's made this character one of, if not my funnest character to play because she so, is so unlike me. Yeah. So much so that like, I was telling Titus the other day, um, I have to sort of lower my voice as Harper. I, I don't even use the same sort of voice. Me as Makia is up in the higher register, so sometimes we'll be shooting and I'm doing a scene and I'm like, oh, wait, that's not right. Let me do that. Right. I gotta get into Harper mode. So, um, yeah, I, I know what you mean, Melissa, when like sometimes the character becomes you. Um, this is the first character that where I have not had that happen at all. The only thing, you know, where I could say we are similar is the love for our daughters. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, that's that's a good entry point uh, into that character for sure. Uh, Nathan, the chat wants to know who you're texting and how funny it is. Or are you just looking oh, at the Twitter chat? I was actually looking at the uh, the the Twitter feed. The, the sorry, it's the Twitter. It's the Twitch. Oh the, yeah. The, the uh, I was kind of watching as people. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff going, guys. I don't know if you've seen this. <laughs> you guys are oh. chatting. I'm I have to plug in my phone. Out. I am. I'm oh, looking this up is the light pulse of the panel. It's right here. I don't know. If yes. You're yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The heartbeat of the panel is all of the people who are watching at home. And uh, for example, the enchanted streamstress just said hi, Nathan. Uh -huh. That's right. <laughs> I see that. I see nice. that. Nice. Somebody yeah. said Nathan's texting me. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Text, he's, you guys are just texting back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, text, yeah, texting the person who uh, who said that. Yeah, put it in the chat. Be, oh yes, yes, there was somebody in chat that said uh, Nathan yes, was right. texting That's them. Right. You're 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 revealing yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, what I was gonna say though is uh, there uh, another uh, good question from the chat came in, which is what is the first thing you want to do in when life is back to normal before going back to set because obviously that's that's what everyone's really dreaming of but uh any anybody have a a, a thought that's immediately coming to their head yes the may, may i can i go ahead. yes nathan go i want to go see my family i want to yeah. travel to canada i want to go see my family i want to yeah. go on a, i'm going to take my trip somewhere i want to relax just get reconnected it's gonna that, that'll be nice yeah, yeah. Did you go to Mexico? I know you were going to go to Mexico. Did you? You, you didn't? Oh. No, we sheltered yeah. in place. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's what it is. Anybody have something else that immediately comes to mind that isn't, I want to go see my family? 
I had a similar situation. I was going to go, I had a, a spring break trip planned with the family to go to Hawaii. My wife's first time, daughter's first time, and we canned it all. So that's, and it, might, it was going to be a surprise for my daughter. So I'm super bummed. So that's one trip I, I'm looking forward to taking. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, well, did anyone else have any uh, trips planned or even just things like, do you have a, a restaurant that you want to go to immediately? <laughs> Boston You're actually just looking forward to being closer than six feet to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Select people. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes I know. I to come yeah. out this, and 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 I don't think anybody's going to just jump back on an airplane. You no, know? Right. I feel like I'm jumping back on. Yeah. I'm out. I'm uh, gone. <laughs> you do I'm you. Gone. But, you know. <laughs> Um, but no, I mean, I think the first thing we all want to do is connect to the people that we've been separated from. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other stuff is just sort of gravy. But I don't know, it's going to be it's going to be baby steps, I think, for a little while. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, we are uh, we are just about out of time for this panel. So I uh, just want to remind everybody that is watching at home that, again, there are still uh, one on ones available with many of the cast members here. Please sign up for them again. Uh, Nathan has been known to uh, make surprise appearances in them. So, you know, mm -hmm. you may. You may get uh, two for the price of one there. Uh, also remember that this entire weekend, we are taking donations for first responders first. So if you guys just look down below where you're watching, there should be a button to donate. We've also got links there to our official HomeCon merch and website, et cetera. And we're going to have more content going on throughout the weekend. So don't go anywhere. Twitch.tv slash HomeCon official. Um, yeah, I mean, you you guys are, it's uh, it's been so lovely uh, having all of you here and holding you captive. And I'm glad that you all got to, you know, ans uh, have Alexi answer some of your burning questions about the show as, uh, as, as actors who uh, are, are not privy to everything that's going on in Alexi's brain. Uh, mm -hmm. The rest of us are all just going to have to uh, have to wait and see what happens next. So uh, Again, thank you all to uh, to every single one of you. You were an absolute delight. Uh, I and feel Emma, like thank you very much for hosting it. What a wonderful oh, yeah. job! Thank you. Thank you, thank you yes. very much. Thank you very much. I feel super privileged to have gotten to hang out with you all. Like you're you're so fun. I can only imagine how uh, how great your days on set are. So uh, you know, here's to uh, uh, season three, if and when it should happen. Uh, and uh, well, it's going to know, happen. Tell them, Lexi. It's going to happen. It's good. <laughs> It's going to happen. Everybody, uh, give the give the rookie your energy uh, for season three, and uh, and thank you all so much for watching. Don't go anywhere. We're going to throw things back over to Jackie, who's going to have some parting words for the day, and then we will be back with a full schedule again tomorrow morning. So thank you all. Bye. Bye. Thank you, bye. bye. bye.